Good evening viewers, my name is Pretzel, and today we're playing Sid Meier's Civilization IV Beyond the Sword. Continuing from where we last left off with our Snakey Constance Roosevelt game. <clears throat> and, uh, that'll do. Yeah, Picard settled a city that is only going to be worthwhile. <laughs> I say that in the loosest sense of the word. Uh, with the use of a levy to, Im to give the river tiles plus one hammer and biology farms so the city can actually grow to work them. And a lighthouse, I guess, to work these tiles here. Which are only, again, of any reasonable quality because he's financial. Uh, but alas, uh, there is nothing left to do on this turn, I don't believe, so I am going to end it here. Industrial era, woo! Scientific method, woo! Oh yes, that uh. <gasps> yes, success. Anyways, I was saying, still on the docks free market. I was saying uh, graphical updates for things because I entered a new era. So I decided in the, in the interim that this city is one I will settle after I have my corporations set up. Otherwise, that city does no one any good. Because it needs the, needs the culture that Sid Sushi can provide to expand its borders, to actually get a food resource to work, which admittedly it would have food anyway from Sid Sushi, and uh, Similarly, it needs mining ink to actually be able to build things, because it's only production. Otherwise, the cow tile, the plains tile, which will probably get worked by Sarmation, and this hill tile here. Nothing else has production. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Onwards. Let's uh, take this worker and get them to... Uh, let's get this worker first to chop down that forest. Miami, that's fine. Uh, can you go there in a single turn? You can. All right, let's get that farm built there. Oh, good. Okay, over here then. Uh, let's get a road built. Great engineer finally made its way over. Uh, it's not finished construction of Oxford Uni. That's a national wonder. There's no rush to build it. Uh, eh. I said eh. And nothing else. Great. Okay, so nothing else has happened. Has anything grown this turn? Uh, lots of things, actually. Philadelphia, San Francisco, Portland, St. Louis, Buffalo, and New Orleans. So let's start with Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia doesn't have much choice in the way of the tiles it works, does it? Uh, hmm... If I put it on a specialist, it takes 11 turns to grow. Um, <laughs> I think, bizarrely, the citizen is the best thing for it to work, to shave the turn off, uh, off of Oxford University. That's a strange thing. Um, hmm. I'm going to keep an eye on that. I will let you work the citizen for now. I at least get beakers off of that, so it's not entirely wasted. It's a weird thing to have happen, though. The citizen is the best choice to have a to have a citizen working. Uh, right. The next one was uh, Atlanta, Chicago, Seattle. No, San Francisco was next, wasn't it? Although Seattle, uh, having expanded, uh, I can't actually improve that oil until I get uh, until I get what do you call it plastics. Uh, but that's fine. That's not a massive rush. The important thing is I do indeed have access to oil. Um, uh, meaning Hangzhou isn't a completely useless city. <sighs> All right. 
I still will insist that that would be a vastly superior city. But whatever. I'm not the AI. I don't know why I chose to settle that city, but it did. So where was I going anyway? Um, right. Firstly, Seattle with its oil. I can't improve that until plastics and I need a workboat to do it. Next is San Francisco, which has grown this turn. Um, would it be better to do that or that? It is better to run the mine, I think. I want the Jewish temple out sooner. Then Los Angeles didn't grow, Houston didn't grow, Portland grew, and is working that. When it can instead be working a four hammer tile and growing in five turns. Portland doesn't really need to grow anymore, but I'm still thinking in whip mode. Portland doesn't really need to grow anymore, but I don't want to whip it anyway, because it doesn't really have that great of a food source. It does have the rice irrigated as well, but other than that it relies on these four farms to sustain itself, because its other tiles are really food poor. But I'm not in the slavery, I'm in emancipation, so I can't whip however much I would want to. Regardless, it is best to do this. So onwards, St. Louis. Um, because there's nothing better for it to work other than that shit pile, I guess. Um, that maybe? No. Eh. Okay, let's check that, uh, yeah, Los Angeles is working with that tile. It doesn't grow if it does that, and I need it to grow, so I can't really sh realistically share the tile with whatever the city was, St. Louis. Miami didn't grow because it's growing this turn. Buffalo grew, and is working that when I would rather it be working the production tile. Similarly, work the other production tile. Similarly work the other production tile. No, don't do that. <laughs> I, w I do want Buffalo to grow, absolutely. Um, that said, five turns? Five turns on the Jewish temple? Five turns on the Jewish temple. <laughs> no, no, let's, let's be responsible. The culture flip can happen at any time. That's... Eh, I know. I am at 30% 30, 30 though, which is an increase on the last turn, so sooner or later I will take this tile. Of course, my dominance will uh, is going to be on a downwards gradient until my borders just pop, as they will. Now where were we? Buffalo, Detroit, uh, New Orleans, uh, again New Orleans, ugh. I need biology now so I can get decent tiles. Ugh. Baltimore didn't grow. Sarmation didn't grow. And then we're at Washington. Did I skip any of those? Don't think so. No. Miami grows next turn, but that's it. So, tech tri uh, foreign advisor. Uh, can I sell anything to anyone? Uh, yeah. Those aren't really massive, there's massive amounts at this point in the game. Resource trades, I will renegotiate in a few turns. Civics obviously don't matter, techs are obviously set in their way, so let's just check that everything's alright here. I still can't believe I'm working the citizen and it's a good choice. Uh, one thing I'm going to do though, since I realised last session how useful co uh, customs houses were for me. Uh, now I believe that is unique to this map, because I don't... Th or this playthrough. Because I don't think they are normally as useful as they are proving to be, or going to prove to be. With the massive commerce boost leave them after harbour. Uh, save, where's save? That's save, and exit mode. Yeah, customs houses aren't going to be the most useful building, but uh, they're proving to be quite useful on the cities that do have masses of coastal trade. So there's that. That is something to consider.
Uh, uh, yes, a war is happening between people. Uh, Ragnar is fighting Augustus Caesar and Stalin. So, Stalin obviously not really an issue for Ragnar. Augustus Caesar, yes, an issue for Ragnar. Uh, Augustus Caesar is the one who declared the war, presumably in an effort to get Satricum back. At the very least. And uh, maybe claim this city? Doesn't really matter. Everything's building the right things and is working the correct tile. There's nothing I can do to change that, so I am going to end the turn here. We will get biology before we need to. Distant land, whatever. No, we're not cancelling deals with the Vikings. Uh, but pick for sugar we will do. Thank you kindly. We're not declaring war against Russia, but uh, thanks anyway. Uh, no, no, we're good. Now, this worker. Christianity has spread in Washington. Satricum has been captured by the Roman Empire. What did I say? Twice. Uh, so these guys... Okay. Alright, confirm. Oh my god, did he settle another city up here? Is that what that city was he founded this turn? Right, so I can get that farm built this turn, which is nice, meaning this guy can... must be... oh. Oh god. Oops. Alright, uh, I have to wait four turns on that. That's fine. I, uh, that was a little bit preemptive then. I forgot all about that. Uh, I didn't realize that wasn't in my cultural borders. Oops. <laughs> uh, build a road. That's nice. Uh, what's this other guy doing then? Probably, pl yeah, he was planning to build a road. Uh, so go up here. Lumbermill takes. Oh, I suppose that's because it's tundra, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. And Lumbermill's the best thing I can do with that tile, I think. Uh, this tile, I don't think, needs to be farmed. Whatever. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Okay. So I have cre I have created a northern route. I didn't realize that was there. Whether you could go through it, my mistake. Eh, I guess again, yeah, just go up there, build a build a road, then a lumber mill. Oh no. Lumber mill, then road. That that's better, I think. Nothing else really needs improving around here, except that plain style maybe needs something. But that's not a massive priority. Again, 3% increase. Improving, definitely. Uh, again, no one's willing to trade, and no one has massive amounts of cash. That's all my units moved. Let's check my cities. What grew this turn? I think it was just Miami. Yep. We have three cities due to grow next turn. Miami, are you working the correct tile? Uh... It's that coast what I want you to work. How about that workshop? I guess the bank done in five turns means you don't grow nearly as fast. What about this farm? That farm is a shitty tile, don't work it. Let's just work the coast then. Yeah, that's the correct tile to work. Again, I am constantly taking teching? Checking the tech tree, even though there's no point in checking it. Uh, how long until things happen? Uh, Detroit and New Orleans have a new thing next turn. They both, incidentally, finish their forge next turn. That's cool. Uh, again, I think that'll do for the turn. Uh, is there anything else I need to look at? Mutal is still over 100 turns away from being legendary culture, which is going to be the biggest threat to my potential victory. 
Cal getting uh, getting legendary legendary cities. Uh, I think I will still comfortably win, uh, especially if I am particularly aggressive towards Pakal and Mal, because they are the ones who are, well, they, they are obviously the ones with the lead. Uh, if I can catch up, which I think I should be able to do given the current state of my economy, and... Uh, I, pr I need to head towards computers, I think, to build the internet. That will uh, that will ensure that I am caught up, at which point I can pursue, I think, nuclear warfare, meaning I realistically need rocketry, fission, fascism to get paratroopers, which also require flight, and rifling, which is a requirement for rocketry, and uh, combustion so I can have transports, and radio so I can have submarines. So I have a few more texts to go. Uh, that's not a... Mm, I, yeah, I don't really need whale. <laughs> so combustion's fine. But to uh, get rocketry, I need physics, unsurprisingly. I may as well get flight. I may, I'm going to assume that no one's going to go go get fascism. So I may as well get the free great general from that and target that first, straight after assembly line. Then work my way towards... Um, hmm. Yeah, I have a scout built to attach the Great General too, so there's no point in having the military academy. In which case, combustion, flight, which requires physics, but that's fine. I don't think I'm in any dire need to see uranium. I'm confident that there will be some on my on my landmass. Then rocketry. Uh, radio, so I can build subs. And Eiffel Tower of Rock and Roll, Cristo Redentor, we'll see. And then fission. I may adjust that in the future, but we'll see. Completely forgot to pick computers, but uh, no big deal. Did I get plastic? I didn't pick up plastics, which I need industrialism for. So yeah, I have quite a few texts to get before I'm in a good position to win anything. Let's end the turn here. Washington's looking a bit slow on the great merchant uptake. But that's fine, I agreed to do that whilst it builds the settler. That said... Yeah, you take as long now whilst doing that, so let's get the Great Merchant out sooner. Uh, let's get two guys to build a road here. Uh, someone can go there to build a, I guess, workshop, yeah. That's what I was going for with that city, wasn't it? You build a road there. You go there. Join in the workshop. Okay, thing. I think that is the city that the, that just got built. So yes, I was right in that assumption. Well done, Pratzel. Yes. Uh, I think Sarmatian can afford a workshop here. That said, I think I'd prefer a farm. I don't know. I might go over the farm at some point. We will see. We will indeed see. Uh, so, yes, this guy can uh, do his thing. Let's confirm my order on that guy to clear up anything on that queue. It doesn't automatically deselect something. Well, if you select it. And there's no other way to deselect something other than to click on another unit or confirm its orders. Uh, nothing happening in the tech arena, again. And uh, what grew this turn? So I can confirm their citizens. Seattle, Detroit, and Baltimore. Seattle is now working that tile. And uh, that's fine, actually, yeah. Yeah, work the oil. Uh, Seattle, something, and Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore's fine. What was the other one? 
Detroit. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's work that. That's fine. I feel there's more benefit in working the coastal tile. Gets me the beakers, gets me uh gets me growing a turn sooner. And it doesn't really add that much time to the courthouse. It's only one turn it shaves off by working the workshop. So there's no harm done there. Philadelphia I meant to readjust earlier. Uh no I didn't. Gonna have to work the for every turn except the last one, I think it is actually going to need to maintain that citizen. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What are you doing? That's why. That's why you're being shit. Yeah, there we are. Five turns. Thank you. God. Okay. Much better. Thank you. I don't know what was happening there. I was obviously misunderstanding something. If I do that. Oh my god, I can run three merchants. Can I run four? I can run four merchants and still get the settler in two turns. Uh, let's not run five, because that starves the city. And I would like the city to grow after the settler's built. So let's run three merchants for now, for a few turns. Two turns, until the settler's built. Uh, which will be in two turns from now. Uh, that is all my work done for this turn, so let's end the turn here. Diplomatic scene hasn't changed. Pretzel the Glorious, wealthiest civilization in the world. Is that because I'm top on GNP demographics? No. Does that mean I have the most in my treasury? I guess it must do. Uh, can I... Yeah. Yeah, I do. Carl was second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I figured I'd lose that. New York can no longer work on the Statue of Liberty. That's what I get for prioritizing the Customs House and shit like that. That's a bit of a shame, really, because the Statue of Liberty would have provided me one free specialist in all of my cities. Because they're all on one continent. Right, this city is finally within cultural borders, so let's get that going. Build a farm there. Uh, this caravel. Actually, tell you what, this caravel can watch this war. Don't need the caravel at the moment, at least. Uh, we will see how useful it comes when uh, when war is looming. Let's see if I can upgrade it or something. But in the short term, not that useful. Uh, uh, so long to build these improvements. And I know what those tiles require, so let's take the sign off them. Uh, tech tree, uh, tech picture again, nothing has changed, although Stalin is ass backwards as anticipated. Um, Stalin's at war with Ragnar, and thus is probably not his worst enemy actually, because, uh, yeah, no one's worst enemy is Stalin. Ragnar's worst enemy is Augustus Caesar because he declared war. So if I go to Stalin, I could sell him liberalism for a return of tech. That's not too bad for me. Go on. Would that work? Oh god, that would work. Um, hmm. Does that actually do anything for me? Huh. How buddy buddy is Stalin with, say, Pakal? Pleased. And with Surya Barman? Friendly. And yeah. Okay, so they're not going to go to war with one another. Not in the slight. No chance of that happening. So I may as well just give him the more favorable trade. Stalin isn't going to go to war with someone uh, that would favor me. So yeah, yeah, give him the favorable trade. Get the, get the money off him, that's an extra turn of research, maybe a bit more. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing I can really do. Well, tell you what. Just sold liberalism for 160 gold, what difference does 130 make? 
Yeah, that's fine. Now everyone has liberalism. Woo! And no one hates Surrey of Armand, so that's no penalty to me. What grew this turn? Uh, New York, Boston, and Chicago. New York? Uh, again, I want New York to grow, therefore that's fine. Boston? Uh, Boston can run an engineer. Works better. I like him running the engineer, actually. Him. Boston is male. Uh, does that slow down growth at all? Yes, it does. All right, let's uh, let's get you doing that then. Just run that. And what was the other one? Chicago. Chicago. Uh, so Chicago. No, no, no. Oops. Uh, yes. Okay, that's correct now. Uh, now, what do I actually want Chicago to work? There's no way to get extra hammers other than to steal tiles or run citizens, which I don't really want to do. So, Grocer Customs House is fine. And I think it's working the right tiles as well. So, maybe merchants? No, you're running the merchant, thank you kindly. I think we can keep going till we get biology, if I keep turns going at this pace. God, this tech tree looks ugly as hell, because of how much queuing I've got going. That's something I need to sort out as time goes on. Ugh. Well, uh, next time we get the settler so we can start moving that into position. The chariot is already there to act as a garrison. And these workers should be about done with there to move up there to actually do things. So let's end the turn here. Oh, that this is... Okay, don't remind me again. I, I know to check resource trades. This is something I don't see all that often, actually. This is Bacal pressuring me to enter his fav favorite civic, which is hereditary rule. I'm assuming hereditary rule is his favorite civic. Now, I don't want to do that, obviously. Um, yeah, hereditary rule is his favorite civic, which is why this is coming up. Uh, I have no interest in doing that. He refused to accept our favorite civic, minus one. That's fine. Don't care. Uh, so now that I can cancel trade deals, uh, let's let's do that now. First of all, active trades. Uh, what were the ones I was selling? All right now, next turn I need to do the thing with the Ragnar. I was selling rice to Mao for nine gold, copper to Surya Varman for nine gold, and. Stalin, absolutely cancel that one. Absolutely cancel that one. And absolutely cancel that one as well. We can renegotiate it if need be. Nothing else was for money, I don't think, other than the one to Ragnar. Therefore, resources. I can sell what? Should have kept that deal going with Mao. Oh well. Uh, Stalin... Uh, again. I'm not actually able to get anything better than that, am I? I can get crabs from Surrey of Armin. So... Trade him copper for crab. And nine gold per turn. Done. That's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. Not like I'm building the... Building, uh, what do you call it? Statue of Liberty. Anymore. And I guess... Therefore, rice to Stalin for two gold per turn, which is a shame I don't get the nine gold per turn from uh, from Mao anymore. But no problem. That's not a problem at all. Now let's do our turn. Surrey Varman adopts emancipation. Nice to see him joining the fold. <laughs> All right, city was taken by uh, by the Vikings. Where was that? That was uh, this city here. 
So one of Surya Varman's old holds. That's fine. So Settler goes up here into the desert. Boom, boom, to remove those last dark spots. And, uh, so I'm moving both my caravels over here. Where's my other one? I don't actually care, but let's keep an eye on the wall. I think I moved my other one over there as well. We'll find out in a few turns, I suppose. Uh, this guy can go up here, build a road on the hill. This guy, this guy can build a road on uh, that workshop. And other people can do more productive things and build farms to up here to irrigate the rice. Which I can't believe I'm doing. Next then we'll see a massive boost in uh, in the food production. Food production? Yeah, food output. By virtue of uh, of the stuff. Can I get three turns without the citizen? No. Damn it. Game, what is your damage? Why do you insist, um, what was it I did? I removed the citizen, therefore it works that. Uh, I add the citizen, therefore it removes the engineer. And oscillates between them until I deselect the coastal tile. <sighs> this game's fucking interface. Whatever. What grew this turn so I can check their tiles? Houston and Sarmation. Okay. Houston, yeah, Sarmation. All the way over here. Yeah, it's not like Salmation can do anything else. Now that said, Buffalo. Can you get three turns? You can. Nah, just grow. It's a much better idea. Alright, 37%. It is starting to slow down a bit. That's fine. The city's borders have popped all... Ugh, game. Don't crash now. Ugh. No, I'm going to get to the end of that turn. I don't care, I barely started the turn anyway. I'm not ending the, the recording here, not multiplayer, single player, load game. Uh, where was my last autosave? 17.10. Yeah, that's a decent amount of progress. Uh, oh yeah. No. Hmm. Okay. Tell you what then. No, I'll cancel the deal with Mao. Just to be fair. Stalin, I was taking the same deal. Uh, Siri of Arm and I had a better deal. That's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. Copper for crabs and nine gold per turn. Yes. This guy goes up here to check out the some of the war situation. This guy went up here to build a road. This settler went up to that tile there. I actually queued up the road there. And I queued up the road on one of these two workers. I don't think I adjusted any citizens or builds or anything. Sarmation and Houston, which are the two cities that grew, are both working the correct tiles. I.e. they both grew onto the correct tiles. I haven't checked my espionage in a while, let's do that. Uh, Pakal is still beating me to obscene degrees, so let's turn that down a bit. Hopefully he won't hate me as much for that. Uh, Picard and Mao are still the priorities though, so let's weight them above everyone else. Um. That I think will do. No, it won't. Basically I want everyone else on two. Okay, that's about the ratio I want, yes. Maybe a bit more on 
that distinction. Uh. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, fine, you can do 11.13. <laughs> Makes no real difference to me. Uh, attacks, yeah, there was nothing. Nothing on the city productions. Although, was I doing something with Washington? I forget. Yeah, now that we built that, I think I want to tone down the specialist use again. Work a city to grow. At work a city, work a tile to grow. Uh, maybe that? No. No. Observatory Customs House is definitely correct, I think. That'll do nicely. Um. Yep, that'll be fine then. Is that everything I wanted to do for the turn? I think it is. Okay, so that'll do then. Thank you for watching. I have been and shall continue to be pretzel. If you like the video, I have been and shall continue to be pretzel. Yeah, that's correct. I have been and shall continue to be pretzel. If you like the video, feel free to stick... Please like the video and feel free to stick around for more. In the meantime, enjoy the music and don't forget to be awesome. I feel like I skipped something there. Oh well. Uh, as said, enjoy the music and don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you next time.